to my channel. This video is sponsored, no I'm just kidding, I'm not sponsored by Monster. If you guys have never had the Mango Monster, I don't know what you're doing with your lives. Just throwing that out there. It's like mango juice, but it's an energy drink. Okay, that's over. We're, we're done now. Okay, so today I want to talk to you guys about the new Shoe Fairy Olympia heels. Because they're beautiful. And I want to show you guys, just in comparison, these with the other shoes that I got, which I got off Amazon because, like, I'm cheap and plus stuff like that. So first off, the packaging that they sent these in is adorable. It's a little box bag and it's super cute because it says right here, exclusively created by the Shoe Fairy because this is their heels. I have been waiting for these guys for so long. Since they first were like, okay, we're gonna make and release these, it's gonna be great. And then they psyched out and they're like, sorry, like we made a mistake, these aren't fully in production yet. I was like, ugh, sadness, and then now we're here. Now, they finally released them and I was so excited. I got on the wait list and they emailed all the people on the wait list and were like, hey, just to let you know, we're gonna give you exclusive access before everybody else, which is awesome. Ordered them right away because, like, I would not have been surprised if these sold out, but I have no idea because I wasn't looking when they were officially released. These did retail for $80, $79.99, and this says early release, but I'm pretty sure they're all $79.99. So that's cool, and then there's a little card about the Olympia heels, and it gives a little brief description and a little warning about the plastic, because it's a different plastic than the other ones, which you'll, you'll be able to see just by looking at the two shoes, which is insane. But it's just warning you that you have to, depending on your foot, you might have to wiggle and adjust and wait for the plastic to form to your foot, and until then, they might fit kind of funny but they'll eventually adjust. So, they have that little warning and fun stuff like that. And then they always like put their shoes in these little shoe bags, which sometimes I keep because it keeps them nice and cute and clean and all that stuff. But not this time. So, before I show you the beauty and glory of these shoes, I wanna uh, first off warn you that these are disgusting. These Amazon shoes, they're awful. And I don't even have the ones that have the, the straps with me. They're somewhere smushed in the back of my car because I bring them around with me everywhere to pose and everything. And the straps on them are just decimated. Like, I should throw them away, honestly. But I got these without the ankle strap for mostly check-ins with my coach. Because early in the morning when you have to go do fast cardio and you gotta check in with your coach, I don't know about you, but I don't wanna try to put an ankle strap on and find the buckle at three in the morning when it's freezing outside and all that stuff. I'd rather just slip these on, take my photos, and go to the gym. And merrily drink my coffee on the way there. So, these atrocious, ugly things are what we're gonna be comparing today. These were like $25 on Amazon. So if you're still balling on a budget and you're not willing to invest in these beautiful shoes, like, I feel you, Amazon, my friends. These are the Ellie shoes, if you're looking for the brand. And I don't know the name of them because I didn't care. But, anyway, so you can see, like, these are nasty. Like, these are not cute at all. Like, this is um, from my competition tan because I use these for check-ins even on show day and then I wore the other ones with the actual strap when I went on stage. But they were still getting used. They're kind of old, they're pretty disgusting, and they're sad. So. If you look at these, like, there's like no cushion here. None, pretty much absolutely none. Like they're not comfortable at all. If you look at how narrow the toe thing is, like my feet are always squished when I put these on. There's nothing happy. This plastic, it like does not bend. It's very stiff. It does cut in at the bottom here when you put them on. Like they, these are not comfortable shoes. Like they're, are times where I'll go on stage and my feet start going numb just because they're so uncomfortable. And I'm a size eight, not that that really matters. But so these are these are my trash shoes that I hate and I'll probably still keep for check-ins because like I said, I'm lazy and I don't like putting on the straps, which 
these have. They only have released ones with a strap so far. But let's just, just immediately take a look at this. Gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Look at, sorry my ring light is like, because these are so shiny. Like, the material is so much different. If you look, this is like a, a cloth material. This isn't, so it's supposed to be tan resistant. I haven't worn these with my competition tan, so I can't say for certain, but I can definitely see how the difference is. This is very absorptive, whatever. This not so much, different material, so it's definitely gonna be easier to clean off, if that makes sense. Um, if you look at this, like there is so much more cushion in these. Like they actually have cushions and you can see right here this big squishy foot pad right here for your feet to be nice and comfortable. How wonderful is this? Like this does not have that. This is a rock underneath your foot and it's awful. Like just looking at the shape of these, look at how much more space your toes have right here. Like this isn't even a competition. Like, the, the, these are just, I want to throw them across the room, but then I'll break something. And it's awful. If you look at the buckle, super nice. Like, beautiful. The other buckle that is on the shoes that I don't have with me right now are this big, and they're super unsturdy, and I really don't like it, but, you know, which is why I have the... The trash shoes for check-ins because they're just such awful buckles and it's got kind of like hold on I'm sorry I don't know if you can see this a little reinforcement right here because sometimes these little holes tend to rip so there's that to protect against that let's just look at these puppies from the side right so see how this has much better of like a foot shape here like the arch going on whereas this is just like a sad slope I don't know these just they're they're so comfortable I could wear these forever forever they're wonderful like so comfortable it's stupid and then remember looking at the plastic this plastic is so flexible which is why they give you that little warning that your feet might fit kind of weird like super flexible Let's go back to the trash shoe. Like, do you hear that? That's awful. Awful and painful. No, this, this, is, this is wonderful. This is gorgeous. This is a gift from the shoe fairy gods. Like, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And like I said, there's cushion. Like, there's more. It's, it, it's more designed like a foot. It's not, I don't even know what this is. This sad, pointy tragic thing that is not the shape of a foot. This is like a line. This has curves to it. She thick in the, the best ways. And yeah, you know, that's my little comparison. So I don't really think I have a whole lot more to talk about with these. I think I went over pretty much everything. Like they're tan resistant. They're gorgeous. The plastic is wonderful. The buckle is nicely made and a decent size. There's foot padding, there's space for your toes, like this plastic isn't gonna cut into you, and it's just, they're wonderful. They're beautiful. I'm super, super excited to wear these on stage um, next year in 2020 because I had to wait so long to get them, and I definitely think that they're worth the money if you're gonna be competing a lot. If you're not sure if you are gonna like competing and you know, you're doing your first show, I would probably just get the Amazon ones because they're cheap. They're the exact same as the really expensive ones that are sold by random companies. Like, I can't even think of them, but there are like jewelry companies or I think some suit companies that will sell heels and they'll try to sell like these shoes for like 70 to $80, which is what these, these cost. Right? These wonderful, beautiful things. They'll sell this, the sad shoe, for like, I think it's anywhere between like 50 to $80 for these. And then some of them will have like embellishments and everything, which then it makes sense to upcharge for them because you're d bedazzling them. But Amazon has them for like 
$25. So if you're not sure and you're trying to ball on a budget and save money and you're not sure if you're ever going to do this ever again, get them through Amazon. Get the cheap shoes. They won't be comfortable, but neither will the other shoes. I've had friends who have gotten the fancier shoes and they're exactly the same. Some of them just have crystals on them. Uh, and like I said, if you're not sure that you're gonna love this, just be safe, get the cheapo shoes. Worst case scenario, they can be your practice shoes or your check-in shoes, like whatever. You can just treat them like trash and it'll be fine. And then you can get yourself these once you realize, wow, this is great. And you can treat these like the angels that they are, right? Because there's no point in spending $80 on a shoe that you're gonna wear maybe once if you're not sure if you're gonna keep competing. If you're like me and you love competing and you're kind of on the fence about it, you're like, I don't know, I would say these are definitely something to invest in because they are so, 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 so comfortable that you're not gonna be, you won't even need to take them off when you're hanging out backstage, like bored out of your mind and dying. Your feet won't be dying. I wore these around the house and then sat down and watched a movie and I forgot that these were on because they're so much more comfortable than the other shoes. So like you won't even need to take them off backstage when you're sitting there, you know, on your blanket eating rice cakes and checking in with your coach. Like you'll just be chilling in these. You won't be like, oh my God, my foot is about to fall off. I need to take my shoes off because that I've done that so many times. I'm like, I can't do this. It's horrible. I'm going to like, be a baby giraffe on stage because my feet won't even be there anymore, which will be bad. Like these will, I definitely think help with stage presentation because you won't be dying. They're gorgeous. I love them. I don't know if you can tell that I love them. And I'm not affiliated or sponsored with the Shoe Fairy whatsoever. Like I have not gotten their shoes before because like I said, I know people who have gotten, um, heels through them and other companies and they got the bedazzled ones through the shoe fairy or whatever and they're beautiful because they're bedazzled and they have like the designs on them and all that stuff but they're not any different from the amazon ones like they're not more comfortable they just look a little nicer because they've got crystals all over them and these which the shoe fairy made are so much better so for me, I'm not a huge fan of the bedazzled shoes because I personally think it distracts from your overall look. That's, I'm not a judge, so I'm not speaking on behalf of anybody. This is my very personal opinion of it and that's why I never got shoes from them is because I was just waiting for these babies to come out. And I'm super excited. I've gotten some of their like regular shoes um, for like everyday stuff, like their dress heels or whatever, and they're super cute and I really like them but like they're nothing fancy, you know, that the shoe fairy just sells them. These are something special. Highly, highly recommend. Well, I've been blabbering for way too long, so that is what I think of these beautiful, beautiful shoes. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'd love to help you out with anything. Like if you're not sure if these would be worth it to you, like, you know, try to help, I don't know, like whatever, because it's pointless to pay for something you're never gonna use. You know, like, I understand. I am not a rich person. <laughs> I have to be very careful with what I spend my money on and what I invest in. And I was a little bit nervous when I bought these just because they're the first of their kind. Like, there's never been anything like it. And I was like, I really hope that these are worth the money. Because to me, $80 is a lot of money. I know shoes are expensive, but I rarely ever buy them because they're a lot of money. And when I do, I usually like have little tricks to make them cheaper, like buying kid shoes, like in the men's section. Cause then the $120 sneakers become $45 sneakers and it's insane. So there's that, that's my opinion on this. I think these are beautiful. I absolutely love them. I can't wait to wear them. And yeah, I don't have a code or anything for you. Cause like I said, this is just, my honest review of these. So make sure you like and subscribe if you like this video and I hope you guys have a phenomenal day. Bye.